Hi, I'm Dr Keith Allen and I'm the Deputy Head of Department. I'm really pleased that you're considering York for your next degree. I'd like to share with you how we think about philosophy research and teaching here at York and a bit about the feel of the Department of Philosophy. Having a sense of community is really important to us. We have our own building in a leafy part of the campus where all the staff have offices and where students can socialise or work together. Not all of our teaching is based there, but we try to make it a real home for everyone. We're a friendly, informal department and as a student, you'll get to know our staff and other students well, which will help you both socially and academically. At the heart of everything we do is the idea that philosophy is an activity. It's something that you do rather than just study. We've designed our courses and carry out our research with this in mind. What makes philosophy at York distinctive for postgraduate study is that we have teaching and research strengths across a broad range of topics, historical periods and approaches to philosophy. We also study and think collaboratively, sharing and testing ideas and arguments with each other. We have ongoing research relationships with universities in China, Italy, Germany, Norway and Iran, as well as collaborations and links with other UK universities. Our researchers have worked with government organisations, charities, think tanks and individuals to help shape policies and activities. We participate in a wide range of public engagement activities aimed at challenging how people think in their everyday lives. To give you an idea of what we do, I'll share some recent examples of our research. On the topic of health and well-being, we've looked at dreams, nightmares and complex trauma to advance the therapeutic understanding of trauma-related sleep disturbances. In the area of justice and equality, our research has asked how we can build local communities that are prosperous, inclusive and sustainable. On the subject of risk evidence and decision making, our research is developing new ways for Public Health England to ensure that their information gathering activities are properly scrutinised and approved. As a department, we're known for research strengths in philosophy of mind and perception, including the philosophy of psychology and psychiatry, as well as the philosophy of art and political philosophy. My own research background is in the philosophy of colour and perception. I look at how our understanding of what colours are has far-reaching implications for questions about the nature of perceptual experience and the relationship between the mind and the world. We also cover topics from bioethics to analytical theology and from the philosophy of technology, especially its ethical and social aspects, to metaphysics and the philosophy of maths. We bring a historical awareness to current issues in philosophy and use this to contribute to conversations both within philosophy and beyond. In the history of philosophy, we have strengths in early modern philosophy and phenomenology, both of which complement our research in contemporary aspects of mind and perception. We're also strong in post-Kantianism and critical theory, which complements our research in moral, legal and political philosophy and aesthetics. Having such a range of specialisms in one place means that we can not only offer our students a wide range of expertise, but it also makes for an exciting intellectual community with lots going on. We host regular philosophy colloquium events with prominent national and international speakers, Royal Institute of Philosophy sponsored public lectures, and a variety of reading groups, workshops, symposia and conferences. If you choose to study with us, you'll develop a range of transferable skills and we'll support you to get the most out of your degree. You'll be a part of our Humanities Research Centre as well, which offers postgraduate training and regular events. We've worked different ways of learning into our programmes that will help you gain skills for your career. On our MA, you'll develop research skills by attending world-leading researchers at the Department Colloquium. You'll work with other students to organise a conference. You'll present your work to others and we'll ensure you're prepared to take on independent research. Our research students often have the opportunity to teach and can access training and development opportunities through the university's research excellence training team. We're also part of the White Rose College of the Arts and Humanities, which offers you research and professional development training to help you build your skills. We'd love to discuss your interests and ideas, so please get in touch with us, and I look forward to meeting you soon.